Hello, sir. Sir, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Okay. Good. Well, I'm glad to have you back in the clinic. When you were here oh, a few weeks ago, we were looking into some eye problems that you were having. But during that visit, we were also talking about your memory. And you had expressed some concern about your memory. And we did a short test in the office that suggested we might want to look into your memory a little bit more. So we're here today to do that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start with some questions. And this, these questions require a little bit of concentration. Some of them are easy. Some of them are more difficult. Okay? So I just want you to do your best. And if you can't hear me or you need anything clarified, just ask me any question you want to. Good enough. Okay. I'm going to give you a pencil first. Okay? And I want you to look up in this corner. All right. What I want you to do is draw a line from a number to a letter in ascending order. Start at number one, draw a line from one to A, A to two, and so on, and end here. So we look at A, one to A, two to B? Yes, exactly. Okay. Can you do that now? Yep. One to A, A to two, two to B, B to three, C to C, C to four. Wow. Four to D, D to five. How's that? Oh, and the end. Good. Right. I told you some of these were a little bit tougher than others. Okay. You see this design here? Yep. I want you to draw that design in the space provided below. All right. Okay. In this space, I want you to draw a clock for me. Make a big circle and put all the numbers where they go. And now, Sam, I want you to set the time for 10 past 11. This is 10 here. Okay. Okay. I'll take the pencil back for a minute. Now I want you to tell me the name of this animal. Lion. What's the name of this one? Rhinoceros. How about this one? Camel Reno. Camel. <laughs> okay. Good. I just thought I'd make him an Italian. <laughs> Are you ready for the next thing? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing is that I'm going to read you a list of words. And I want you to concentrate because I want you to remember them now and later on. Okay? You, bad. I'm bad at that. That's okay. This is just, just do the best you can. Okay? So listen carefully to the words and then you say them back to me in any order. Okay? okay? Here, here are the words. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Go ahead. Face, velvet, daisy, church, red. Perfect. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Yeah. So I'm going to read them a second time. And just like the first, repeat them back to me in any order, including the ones that you said before. Okay? Here's the same list again. Face, velvet, church, daisy, red. Go ahead. Face, velvet, daisy, church, red. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to remember those again a little later. Sure you will. <laughs> okay. Here's the next one. I'm going to say some numbers, and I want you to say exactly what I say. You repeat the numbers back to me. Okay? Are you ready to hear them? 2, 1, 8, 5, 4. 2, 1, 8, 5, 4. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to say some more numbers, but this time when I'm done, you say them backward. Okay? So you say them in the backward order. Seven, four, two. Two, four, seven. Okay. Now, can I get you to put a hand on the table here? I'm going to read a sequence of letters. And every time I say the letter A, I want you to tap your hand like that. Okay? okay? Tap your hand to practice. Every time you say the letter A. A? Yeah. You're going to tap your hand. Okay? okay? When I say a different letter, do not tap your hand. When you say the letter A. You tap your hand. Okay. But only tap to the letter A. Okay. Okay? Can you give me a practice tap? Okay, good. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. F, B, A, C, M, N, A, A, J, K, L, B, A, F, A, K, D, E, A, 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 J, A, M, O, F, A, A, B. Okay. You ready for the next thing? Yeah. Okay. I want you now to count backward by sevens from 100. So start with the number 100 and count backward by sevens. Can anybody do that? Well, I told you some of these are harder and some of them are easier. By seven? Yep. Okay, 100 uh, minus 7 is through 93. Okay. 93 minus 7. Is you talking about math, not the. Mm -hmm. uh, 93 minus 7, 7, 3. Uh, 84. Okay, keep going. 84 from 7. Uh, seven, four, seventy four. Keep going. <laughs> seventy four from seven. <laughs> I would even make mistakes, I'm sure. Seventy four from eight, seven, eleven. Seventy four. Eleven. It says sixty four. Okay. One more. Uh, 64 from 7, uh, 7, four, seven. 57. Okay, you're done there. Now, I'm going to read some sentences to you. And I want you to listen very carefully because when I'm done, I want you to say back to me exactly what I said to you. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Okay, here's the first sentence. I only know that John is the one to help today. I only know that John is the one to help today. Okay. I'm going to read you another sentence and same thing. You say it back to me exactly as I say it to you. Okay. Ready? The cat always hid under the couch when dogs were in the room. The cat always hid under the couch when dogs were in the room. Okay. Now, I want you to say as many words as you can that start with a certain letter of the alphabet that I'm going to give you in a minute, okay? okay? So when I start the timer, you'll say as many words as you can that start with a certain letter. Okay. The only rules are that proper names are not allowed. So you okay. can't say things like Bob or Boston. Okay. You can't say... Boston? Yeah, because it's capitalized. Okay. Names of places or people are capitalized, so don't say anything like that, okay? Also, don't say any numbers, okay? And lastly, make sure all the words are different. So if you say a word like boat, don't say boats, boating, boated, okay? Make sure all the words are unique, okay? So this you time... Can't, you can't use animals? No, you can use animals. Okay. Yep, the only things you can't say are numbers or words that are capitalized. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so make all the words different. This time, in one minute, the letter is F. Go ahead. Foul, fable, thimble, fickle, uh, fair, 
form, f foam, a fear, a f a fetter, a f flunk. Uh, I got better spell that word. Uh, uh, father, uh, feeble, feel, felt, foe, uh, foy, four, Uh, fat, uh, frail, uh, Okay, you can stop there. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, Sam, tell me the difference, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, how a banana and an orange are alike. Uh, they're, uh, they're both vegetables. Uh, a banana and an orange are both fruit. I mean, fruit them. Yeah, open. exactly. Yeah. So now, how are a train and a bicycle alike? They both uh, have a, a wheel operative in the same way. Okay, yeah, their wheels operate in the same way? Well, there's a, um, I don't know what you call it, elbow. Okay, right, yeah. Sprocket. Okay. Type of fare. How about this one? How are a watch and a ruler alike? They both measure. Okay. Now, a little while ago, I read a short list of words to you. Yeah, sure you did. And I want you, one more time, to tell me as many of those words as you can. <laughs> in any uh, order. I told you in advance. I told you in advance. Um, Fable, that's it. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I, now I want you to tell me the date today. Today? I don't know. I think it's 23rd of August, uh, 2014. Okay. And what day of the week is it? Uh, it Saturday. And what's the name of this place that we're in? Uh, health partners uh, clinic or hospital clinic or hospital and clinic. what what city are we in Minneapolis okay West Campus you're done we got all oh, the way boy, through it you I sure am now this is going to be helpful as we think about how you're how you've been doing um, so I'm going to take a little bit of time to look over the results and then we're going to talk about it good enough. okay good enough.